How should we think about stock markets, inflation, house prices, cryptocurrencies? Having a framework for understanding finance and economics is very useful for you to develop your own point of view about how many things are happening in the world. Estimating stock prices is not just something that one would want to do if you're trading stocks. Even if you just want to pick up the newspaper and better understand what's happening in the world, having a framework that helps you understand how stock prices are determined can help you better understand how different companies are linked, how economic activity is forming, and how involved the government should be in, in what's happening in the economy. By taking a general class in corporate finance, it would be much easier for you to figure out, is day trading profitable or not? If I am going to be a day trader, what's the right strategy to pursue? And if I do pursue that strategy, how am I going to evaluate whether I did a good job or not? When you look at cryptocurrencies and you look at how the prices are fluctuating wildly over time, you look at what's happening in the stock market, you look at what's happening in house prices, you have many asset classes where prices, activity, all sorts of things are changing day by day. One of the best things about studying at the LSC is that you will have exposure to a wide variety of faculty who are not just involved in academic research, but who are very well connected with many policy makers and key decision makers in the real world. The frameworks that we study can be of great use to you when you prepare for internship and full-time job interviews. Having a framework in mind can help you understand whether the changes that you observe make sense or not, what is driving those changes, and perhaps most importantly, how do you want to respond to what you're observing in the real world. Students in this course go on to careers in investment banking, consulting, venture capital, where they succeed and thrive.